we were uh, discussing about yesterday about uh, wire uh, previous to that we discussed about uh, events child to parent and parent to child events communication and then and then later we discussed about the wire so wire is a function like this uh, we can have some uh, it can be again wire can return you the it can be property or function in the sense suppose you wanted to get the data which is number from the apex class you're calling apex it is giving you just a number then you, the number it is returning you can store like this for example to, it apex returning you total uh, accounts which is a number okay total accounts total accounts is a number just giving you the number okay 10 accounts 10 20 accounts like that so you wanted to get this data from the apex two ways we can write right uh, we can do with the imperative apex uh, first starting we have done that is an imperative apex this is wire this is wired methods wired method also you can write like this wire and then let's say this class name is account uh, controller okay and then instead of this you are having a method um, get accounts count is a method instead of this you are writing a query and getting the data okay now in this scenario uh, so this is a class name right we will be importing no so I will write like this okay and then any parameters we can write and we will write a result okay so now if you want to send any parameters you can send otherwise it can be empty now uh, in the starting we have written like you know import statement import uh, so get accounts or any name here where adapter from uh, salesforce slash apex slash class name slash method name sorry dot method name method name is this one right so this statement is similar for imperative apex and normal apex also so if you whatever the method you are using you can write for example apex call you can write here right now because of this wire you are calling whatever the data you are getting that store here which is a property now means a single record a single value it doesn't have any list of records it doesn't have any columns at all okay yesterday we are trying to get the contacts which is a list so this stores a list also but to access this in the UI we need to have result dot result data data or you can make this as a function also how means like this also you can write okay this is a function now okay so this will have data and errors okay so either you can make this as a if you don't put this as uh, brackets then it will be a variable or a property if you make this as a brackets and then parameters and then something you wanted to do something you can write it here so then it will become say uh, a function okay so wire will return you either a property or a function whatever you are writing here it can be it can be a property or it can be function if you write like this it, it is going to be a function okay so uh, like this basically uh, you'll have a wire function yesterday we had written but the thing is uh, we generally have to have a data attribute for that so let me go there this was the uh, component that we are writing yesterday so uh, and this is okay this we were writing like this right we are sending a parameter by default parameter is 2 and we are sending as record ID dynamically now this result is a variable 
if I write like this, this is going to be a function. Yesterday we had write like this. We have written like this, right? This is a function. This is a, um, sorry, this is a variable right now if I don't use this, okay? That's why it is commented. This is fine, like this also we can use. But this is a, a kind of, you know, combined function or a variable. To get this data, we need to use data attribute, right? Suppose I'm using this results in the front end data table. I need to use result dot data. If I'm using something like, let's say contacts, then I can make this as contacts dot data, right? So it apply this. Now you will get this in the UI. Um, which is a uh, SPA. So you see here today we are getting the data. Okay. So what missed yesterday was we generally uh, if either it can be function or either it can be property. Property means a variable. We need to access with the dot data. Then only we'll get a data dot data if it is a uh, list data we are getting if you are getting a simple simple numbers you know age you are getting some uh, amount then we don't need to put a dot data this is generally uh, we need to use like with the dot data if it is a collection right so you can make this as a function also like this also you can write directly okay function like this So now this is a contacts. You can make this as a function. Okay. You can data list something. Okay. Okay. So like this also you can write or make this as it is earlier. Okay. And then use of dot data. Okay then also it will be the same. Now, just data is missed yesterday, okay? That's it. Now, we will see the differences. Uh, we have a, we have called, we, we can do this similar kind of functionality using a imperative OPEX also. But the, but in it, like, you know, technically, what it will do? See, first of all, it automatically executed. We did not click anywhere, it auto, whenever, constructor loads or component loads it automatically loads we need uh, we did not click anything automatically it loads and then it will be in an apex class contacts data controller this is cacheable means generally uh, once it will fetch and then it will not generally make a calls every time okay so for example we are in this class and any time now let's say I'm sending a parameter as five. Okay. Now five records I can see here. I'll make a six. Six records I will see. Ten records. You see ten records are coming. Okay. So this ten records, how you see here it whatever I am this parameter is there. <coughs> Uh, where is alert? Let me delete this alert. So, here what is going to happen? This is a wire method. In this wire, <coughs> we are sending a parameter. If you have a parameter, then better always use this wire. If you wanted to send a parameter and then you wanted to have a function, so you know, automatically when there is a change, then you wanted to get the data automatically. Okay, then better instead of writing a uh, imperative OPEX, go for this wire methods. What it will do, whatever the data is, it is returning, it will store in a virtual memory, or that is called as a cache memory. That's why it is a cacheable true. So it won't call again a OPEX. It will check. Okay, this there is a cache memory. There is something backup is already present. I'll go and then check what is the changing here. Record size. Earlier by default it is two. <clears throat> by default it is two so initially I need to take it two records and then I wanted to fetch more number of records like you know it will just 
if I write a 4, I will refresh again, it is not refreshed. 4, it will give me 4. 5, it will give me 5, right? So it won't make generally calls to the back end, okay? Uh, so uh, this is useful in terms of bad uh, performance, okay? Uh, the, like, you know, in a back end code is same like only in the front end whenever you wanted to make utilize of this wire the syntax is different this syntax is different that's all okay so <clears throat> let's say you are getting contacts and then data you are getting again the data if suppose name is not there let's say for this you see first name is not there for all this so first name is not there you don't want it to use that then what you can do you can suppose you want you are getting the data once you got the data, you wanted to do something uh, by utilizing this data. You can make a functions also like this. Okay. And let's say. <coughs> you can do like this. If. to use for loop here yeah I mean generally uh, for example you wanted to have uh, something you wanted to check if data is present from the back end then only you wanted to do this you can do like this also I mean this is a function this is a function of something like this you can utilize this is a function either you can return as a property or a function now this list also I can use directly here instead of data directly like this so both serves the same purpose refresh see by default two records are coming now change this to five six like this basically this is a function if anytime you wanted to uh, you wanted to check something or you wanted to loop the data and then after that you wanted to add it to the list then we can go for uh, this functions Otherwise, directly you can use a variable uh, like this uh, instead of function. Okay, so uh, that is all about wire. So it is similar way of calling, but in a in a technically uh, the better performance can be achieved with this wire. <coughs> then why do we have an Ampereto Apex? This is enough, right? Means every time you click on button, you need to contact a server. There is no parameters like this. There is no parameters. Every time you click on a button, you wanted to go to the server and then fetch the latest data. Then we can go for a uh, imperative calls, which is uh, we have used like this for customer data LWC. Customer data LWC. So this is imperative imperative apex. It every time you click or every time it function is called this will go back, go to the server and fetch it but this one is not like that it will be uh, logically it will store somewhere that is called they call as a cache okay it's a it's a cache it won't every time calls an apex that's a that's a major difference okay and then we cannot do any DML operations for a cache cacheable methods we cannot update these records okay there is some these records are present right already let's say you wanted to update something before returning okay you are storing something con list okay contacts list and then you wanted to update something it is not possible any dml operations are not supported inside of this uh, cacheable methods okay that is uh, one more difference so first of all to make a wire methods calling or if any apex wants to call from the wire methods it should be cacheable equals to true okay so that's a major thing now <coughs> uh, what we are going to see now uh, we are going to have CSS file to the our LWC component how to add uh, how to add colors or some uh, background colors or some uh, styles and all so there is a CSS right CSS okay 
W3 code. So CSS is one of the uh, kind of a scripting or a language, so which provides a stylings, right? So for example, you see this. <coughs> you see this. My car is in caps letters, okay? And then you can see. So uh, let us see different styles, right? These are different style classes. So you see this text is different style, this text is different style, like that. You want it to apply, <coughs> you want it to apply to uh, particular uh, component styles, we can include as well. For example, you see this in this component. You want it to display in different format and then background color is different, okay, for this. What we can do, go to this component. This is a, this is our component. So here we have used yesterday, right? So here by default three files is going to be created, right? So by default three fields are going to be created like this. You see three files are there which is HTML file, .html and then this is .javascript file and this is .xml file, right? Three files will be there by default any LWC file created. These, these three will be going to be created. Now we can add a new file, HTML files, CSS files and JavaScript files also we can add extra. Let's say I want CSS file. So uh, I will write uh, same name as uh, component name, customer registration. and display component okay then save it <coughs> it is going to create a with a uh, here one other file see uh, you see here uh, customer registration HTML JavaScript uh, this is uh, JavaScript again kind of dot uh, XML and you see here dot CSS file will be there so CSS means cascading style sheets, which is used for applying the styles basically. So you see uh, here automatically whenever I create a file, this is a one class is coming. So here what we can do, we can write our own class name here, uh, style name. So for example, uh, recent data style. So this is one class name I have given, right? So I can use this class name. <coughs> So for my component, wherever I'm displaying. So let's say in this component, uh, where are we displaying that? Okay, that is, I think that is in the child record, I guess. That is in the child record. Yeah, sorry, this is here, right? So we need to create uh, basically here, the, uh, the class name is we need to create a CSS file is here, basically. I created in the parent, I wanted to create here. Customers that LWC, okay. The CSS file is going to be create. So let's say a similar kind of thing I wanted to have recent recent data style. Okay, this is a blue color I wanted to apply. So I can save this and then copy this class this class and apply to this div this is a div right so I can write class is equals to then save this and apply what you are going to see you are going to see for this div internal whatever is there this color is going to be blue okay refresh <coughs> so you see here blue color Okay, we can change font also in the CSS. We can change font size. Okay, some 30 pixels. Save this. So this is a class now, which is a CSS class, which is not Apex class. Uh, this is a CSS class and inside how many styles you want, you can keep that. You see here the size 
change to 30 pixels right so for any div or any custom uh, things we can uh, utilize but you see button is already present for button maybe this style may not apply because there is button is a standard component that is having already styles let us see display data So it is uh, change the size, but not the colors because this variant is there, which is gives a color as success. Success color means blue, uh, green color basically. So it is apply the style, which is font size for the button also. You see, I can utilize wherever I want. You see class for the button I have used, for the div also I have used. This div is not a, a lightning component uh, tag. This div is a generic HTML tag. This is a lightning one. Lightning button is a lightning supported tag. This lightning data table is also lightning card is also is a uh, basically uh, lightning specific tags. But this div is our own own div tag, which we can apply any styles for this. Okay. So suppose you want to have background color. Okay something any color you can apply save this refresh you see background color is applied for this div okay so like this basically uh, what will happen we can change the styles of the particular form this form also we can change the color there is a form for this right so we can change background color okay so okay this we can save this and then I apply for the parent also anywhere is a parent right so here I can apply uh, for this I can apply lightning layout class is equals to this one refresh this okay so you see for this it is not applied because uh, you know this is our uh, sometimes we cannot uh, you know this is lightning layout is by default uh, Salesforce tag even though I'm applying the style it will it is not uh, applied for this because uh, it is uh, internal styles will be there it will not override the internal styles instead of that what I can do I'll put my own div this lightning layout this lightning layout here and ending here and then I'll keep everything in this div okay so this lightning layout I'm keeping in one my due okay and I'll apply this class style to this okay due so that means there is a due on top of this page block uh, so this lay uh, lightning layout so this is internal element this is a top element I'm applying for the top element let's see this will have to apply the style let us see Is not overriding it is not overriding so instead of that what I can do for example I'm having a div here okay so so let's say div and then let's say I want everything in uh, let me keep like this otherwise div instead of this div 
I'm closing this deal. Save this and try. Refresh. Yeah, this will not apply basically styles because it is internal deal. Let me check this in the outside and see. Let me check this outside. So this is my own due. Uh, so for this due, I'm writing something. This is a registration form of the customer something. Okay. So what I would like to know now is this will says that background color should be green, like whatever the style we have applied is background color of this div should be green. is not applied okay okay this this should come in a green color let us check that do registrations form style and then it will have JavaScript file background color C-U-S-T-O-M-E-R-R-E-G-I-S-T-R-A-N and display component. This is correct. Let's see. Whether it is applying or not, let us see. So I'm writing font size and then font uh, color, or let's say color red. Okay, so let us see whether it is applying or not. This is my style, I'm writing my style as a class name. And then whenever I go to HTML, I will apply this is my style. Let's see if it is applying, background color also will apply. Sorry. Okay, where is that? Okay. Okay, let's copy this and then Yeah, it is mistake. Yeah. So um, basically, uh, this uh, CSS file name also should be same as component name file. So and then deploy now and see. Yeah, you see now it is applied. Thank you, Ravi. So this, you see, this is a CSS name file that I have created, right? So whenever I'm creating a CSS file like this, uh, the name of the file that I'm writing should be the same as component file, HTML file, or whatever the component file name is there. With the same name, I need to create a CSS file also. Whenever I try to create uh, this one, the, the name of this one should be the same as HTML file. So that what will happen, it is matches with the component and then it belongs to the same component, right? So now uh, I had given, I think some, some spelling mistake over here. Display, okay, this this is this place mistake. This is correct, okay. However, however, I need to apply the same uh, um, colors and all, okay? I mean like uh, same name and we can write here background color.
okay now I can utilize this for my div division uh, let me try with the layout and see it is applying or not now refresh this so you see now background of this entire layout background of entire layout becomes a green okay so I have applied for this layout inside the layout multiple layout items are there two layout items are there one is child and then one is parent related stuff so both the things are covered with the now backend color as a green okay so like this basically we can apply the styles uh, with our CSS file this is something called a CSS file by default it will not come this name can be anything I given my style or any any name is fine okay generally uh, it should be the same uh, it should be anything like it, it is not required but uh, name of this uh, CSS file should match with the HTML file right uh, and then apply the styles like this font color size anything else okay so uh, uh, this is all about CSS and then let us have a look into um, uh, something called CSS is done and then what else pending so we can have a for loop uh, just like this table however we are displaying the table similarly we can display uh, for each loop uh, so which is something available here in the lightning component library So there is an example of you know you wanted to display some data uh, customized way now this you see you are displaying like a table right this one uh, contact data is there uh, first let me remove this background color it is so much of a green eye. okay so now here see you are getting the data list of records let's say 10 records or 20 records how many records you are getting right these are like in you know, a ordered structured format first name last name contact let's say you wanted to display in some other formats or uh, this data you wanted to display as as like you want some pictures with some images and some data then we have a customized looping format which is this one okay let's say uh, take this example only you wanted to display the map also like this you see here um, we can have you see where is the loop loop is not there here okay okay uh, let me let me just take another example there will be a loop uh, so that is generally presents the data in a table format but it is it won't structure you there basically it won't structure so you see here this is a details this is the details like you know displayed in uh, like this format these are the same details are displayed in this uh, table format this is a data table but you have a, let's say some large number of records 10 records 20 records 30 records you wanted to present either you can this use this data table or you can use this approach is that I want syntax that's why I'm searching for the syntax
So let me check for the syntax. Yeah, this one for each loop. So for each loop will be there. So this is generally loops the data. Like if we have a large number of records, uh, this is the one I want. Uh, this one. This is the one I want. So this is basically. Uh, a looping statement a kind of a, you know if you have a large number of uh, records 10 records 20 records not a single record uh, let's say contacts you wanted to display name phone fax like that so then you can use this for each and then this is same like you know get the data from the database and it is similar but I wanted to show you this for each loop so this for each loop will display the data but not in this table format you see this data there are 10 records it is displaying in the table format automatically same 10 records if you display here it will not display in the table format but it is a comfortable like uh, as as like you want to display okay uh, like in this example you see here we are displaying the some uh, you see here in this format you wanted to display you want to display in this format Okay, or you wanted to display the maps? We have we had seen the map, right? So this is a own format. Multiple records you can display like this. Okay, so you have 10 records, 20 records. All 20 records is going to be shown like this. Okay, so for that purpose, what we can do? We can use uh, this one. Okay, template. So let us take a, a contacts example and display 10 records or 20 records, how many records we want like this uh, some different format okay not not as a table okay let's let's create a one uh, component and have a look how to use this for each loop okay so create a one component this is contacts only contacts data using for each okay lwc now sometimes uh, uh, you know customer will uh, our uh, client will ask you display the data but not in this table format they will ask you in a customized format so in this case you cannot display the data using data table so we can go for this okay so let me copy this template so we need this one only simple okay so here <coughs> this is a for each is syntax here we need to have a data right so let us go to lwc javascript so as is well we had uh, uh, get the data we got the data from this file we can we can utilize the similar way okay we can import this contacts let's let's use the same contacts data same class okay and then a different component we are doing that's it record count is going to be 2 okay 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 so let's say by record type records are five contacts and then here contacts dot data okay save it So to use this uh, wire, we should use wire adapter here, wire, right? So that's why it was throwing an error. Now let us uh, have a tab for that. Let us create a tab for this purpose, contacts data. Create a tabs. New tab lightning component tab so here select our component which is contacts data for each loop uh, I'll write contacts data LWC okay so any style you use click next save it now you are going to have a tab in our application or generally search for the contacts data LWC I 
fresh. Apply this and try again. Lightning card is there. And then inside, let me keep this. Deploy. So is there any mistake? My data is not coming now. Okay, let me make this as a function. So let us make this as a function and verify. This example will have a data errors. And then if data is present, I want it to assign the data to this list. See now, uh, let us have an alert here, whether this data is present or not. Okay, so now wire function is there, which is wire adapter is there, contacts, default, export, import, okay. Everything looks good, right? So why is data is not displaying? Refresh. So there is a data. Two records data is present. Okay. Now this is not So this is not a contacts now, this is con list. We need to use con list in a front end. Con list dot data. Sorry, no need of data also now because data we have assigned just con list. And then deploy. And now refresh. So we should have here function data errors if data is there then I wanted to assign this to this con list this con list data alert this con list
refresh be using this Uh, do you see any issues over here? Uh, anybody finds any issues here? Account list, wire adapter, it should get at least data, right? We are displaying in data table. Okay. Okay, however, let us take uh, this example only and see. I mean, same example, right? It is account data. I'm not sure why it is throwing an error why that is a new error. So let me create a new component and then try So this is what our component Template for each loop con list for each item This is basically a kind of a looping, so it will it will repeat the, all the records. But let's say if I write something else here, for example, some image I'm writing, then image also it is going to be display. So that's why I wanted to show this uh, both of the examples. So I'll be getting the data as similarly in the this. Uh, let me call an imperative OPEX and see. Uh, I'll have a button. I'll have a button submit something okay and uh, let us not make this okay and then here event so apex call we are making here let's take this example right so so apex call i'm making get contacts right uh, contacts data
list okay this list I'm going to use here and then apply it right so now now this is uh, just a button this is a template where it is having a for loop and then this is a data I wanted to display the name okay just name right now and then deploy this also and see submit I'll use iteration and see let us use iteration iteration is also a kind of a uh, like a for loop it will repeat the, all the data let us use this iteration iteration is similar to like a for each loop it will it, iteration is available in the R, R component also right so we can use this let us see I'm not sure what's wrong here uh, basically this is correct syntax and then we are getting the data let us see alert okay that is cacheable here okay let us see what whether data is getting or not here let us see first data controller so generally for imperative apex we should not use uh, uh, cacheable equals to true so let's make a separate method with same class different method with cacheable equals to false and uh, let me use this new method and see so this refresh issue is there uh, if you use LWS editor if it is VS code uh, it will reflect immediately okay however uh, there is some issue uh, I will take a look so uh, so just wanted to review what whatever we discussed till now First of all, how to write LWC? Okay, in this file, we, in this LWC, we are having uh, HTML file, and we are having JavaScript file. Uh, we are having uh, CSS file. CSS file by default it won't be there. XML file, and we can add CSS also. Like these are different extension files, right? So, and then uh, we have uh, discussed some base components base components means lightning input is a component lightning button lightning card okay and now similarly to this data table okay these are base components like this we are having so many base components in the component reference you see if you want a uh, like a button group you can use this lightning button group similarly like this lightning multiple buttons button group means multiple buttons okay 
button group you want a tabs a particular tab inside inside of this output you want a multiple tabs tab one two three four like this you wanted to create you see here tabs lightning tab tab you can use tab set basically so here the output will comes like this like this inside the page inside the page you wanted to have again in the component accounts contacts opportunities okay then you can use lightning tab whenever you click accounts it will displays here contacts it displays here like that so uh, uh, we can have a base components like this so how many base components you try this uh, determining things you, you wanted to try with the uh, uh, like say progress step okay this uh, will gives you a progress uh, means like you know uh, whenever we open lead leads right in the leads you see whenever you open the lead you see here these these things are called as generally uh, uh, actually path but uh, progress bar also indicates a similar progress bar also it will say similar but it won't have this much width it will have as one straight line you copy this code okay you copy this code and then try it will show you the bar okay and then it will show you the uh, ring uh, their output will be there you see ring okay you wanted to show something progress in a, in a kind of a ring you can copy this code you can analyze this okay if I put a zero percentage it will be this ring first ring empty ring and then if you say 25 it says that 25 percentage completes like that what you can do indicate the progress basically it's a progress ring okay like that you'll have so many uh, icons we had seen icon we had seen input we have seen input text numbers and all we have seen right just like that map is also there so many things are there map is one of the thing if you if you use if you wanted to show maps google maps in your component similarly to this we had uh, we don't have here output so we don't have output here a preview here so you can copy this code so you can have a uh, you can have a this is javascript file um, just come down yeah copy this code and delete a javascript code you will see it you will see a map okay so like this we, we will have a base components basically okay lightning map is a one base component lightning map is a base component okay like this and then using this we had created a how to how to uh, provide a input fields like you know take the input from the um, input form we can say or or we can say take input from Uh, user and then whenever we take input we can write a actions on change on click okay related JavaScript actions also we have written in the JavaScript how to write a function okay like this function will write right so and then what we had seen uh, how to call an apex from LWC okay so in this we can say two things one is imperative apex and then other one is wire methods okay two things two ways we can call so why are we calling a that you can get the data by imperative uh, calling to get the data get the records or create records create data okay so we had seen in the first example we are sending a data to the uh, apex class in the apex uh, we are inserting a data right in the next examples we had seen to display the data using a table like this okay or uh, using a table like this also okay so we had seen display the data in the table format that means we are getting the data while calling an apex and then we had uh, wire methods also we got the data 
and then first step x call we may we are sending the data as a parameters okay uh, send data as params uh, and then we had seen get the data using query and display as data table so basically while displaying we can use data table or uh, this iteration and for each so these three approaches we can use to display the data we are getting the data but to show the data either we can use this table format like this this is a data table uh, apart from this uh, today's example is not working but there are two approaches like you know for each loop and then and then iteration both of them you can utilize to render the data in uh, in a ui if there are multiple records okay um, and then single record means we can utilize like this um, you see name mobile number like this we can display like this you wanted to show multiple records then you can go for iteration for each loop or data table okay So like this and what are we going to have we are we had LDS like you know create the data view the data using uh, without using Apex we don't need an Apex to create a data uh, also there is an another approach also okay we can do that and then we had seen a child to parent and then we had seen parent to child okay and then whatever we had seen uh, is something uh, yesterday wired methods again and then what do we have basically we can say um, these also iteration and for loop but uh, it is not working you try and then I will also have a provide an example for you and what else did we discuss anything else CSS applying the style sheets okay so these are the uh, uh, things that we have used in our demos right so any application will be having this similar requirement create a form to get the data whenever we click on a button or whenever we click on a lightning component button or a page home page we may need to show the data like this okay uh, to get the data and then as well as to show the data we can use this lightning component Ma majority of the applications will deals with input and output only maybe while displaying the output maybe you can use this table like this or maybe uh, I will give you the examples for this uh, same same data will represent in different formats okay for by using iteration for, for each loop okay for example uh, customer name and then phone email and then address is there let's say address you wanted to show in the map okay I wanted to show like this uh, like this name mobile phone and then next immediately to this address I wanted to show in the map if you want you can try that okay as an assignment for you okay show uh, customer details along with Google map okay uh, this can be achieved using uh, either for loop for each loop for each or iteration uh, with the map component lightning map lightning map okay so uh, and then what else we, are, we will be using calling an apex and then getting an apex so okay so and then yeah this much only we can say uh, about LWC so you can explore using lightning component library okay so either you can search with a particular component and then read the example and the documentation or you can go to developer guide you can see more detailed way how to create a lightning component event okay data data means apex calling how to call an apex and all it will lwc lds lightning data services okay it will show us okay so um yeah so that's all about lwc uh, tomorrow onwards we'll more focus on apex so for other